Hello, this is my research outcome for my say, stage 2 research project. Today I'll be showing you how to perform AFL skills correctly for learners. I'll be showing you kicking, handballing, marking, picking up the ball, tackling and spoiling. Let's start with kicking. Get it under three minutes, go back and deliver. And under oh, Franklin again just drops it. He'll try and work an angle. He's in a good pocket for ball. Yeah, the North Melbourne. Everyone knew where that one was going to Gary Ablett, who lifts it a notch and has oh. a crack. It's one of the most important AFL skills and should be the first thing to learn when beginning. Elite players learn how to kick in different circumstances, whether it be under pressure or kicking to a running teammate. We'll just learn the basic. The main points of kicking are to line your body up with your player that you're kicking into. You want to guide the ball with one hand, whether it be your preferred hand or your opposing hand. You want to follow through with the leg and point your toe. The drop punt is the most commonly used kick in AFL football. It gets precision, accuracy, while getting limited distance where you control how far you kick the ball. You want to start off by holding the ball over your preferred leg. Get the drop punt grip, follow through with the leg, point the toe. This is the grip for a drop punt. Thumbs towards the lacings and fingers outstretched below the ball. When kicking the drop punt, it should spin backwards. That way, it gets precision accuracy. Inside the 50 meter run. Going with a torpedo, and he's uh, got onto it, and got onto it, and got to it. He's going to dust him. He's got the torp, he's got plenty of carry, it's going, it's going! The torpedo punt is one of the least common used kicks in AFL. It is to get maximum distance, but it can also be the opposite. What you want to do is the exact same as the drop punt. Hold it over your preferred leg with the drop punt grip. Then change your grip so it slightly angles out to your body. Same idea, guide down with one, one leg, point, follow through with the leg, point the toe, and it should spiral like so. Jack Frost, turnover, Dyson Heppel, brilliant! Yeah, nice finish, I'm really looking forward to Heppel playing a little bit more through the midfield this year. He is super 36th position, over left foot, he kicked the goal to bring him back into the game, got it's it. a got great it. kick! The snap is a kick for goals, usually from the boundary, but can also be used in open play. What you want to do is the same as a drop punt again. Hold the ball over your preferred leg, get the drop punt grip, but turn the ball side on. Same idea, kick through the ball, point the toe. But you want to be hitting this side for a snap. That way you get the spin and the turn. You want to turn your body side on towards the goal. The banana is exactly like the snap, but on the opposite side. So you want to get the same grip, the drop punt grip, turn it into the snap grip, but then kick it on the other side. That way you get the spin towards the goal. The handball may not travel far, but it is one of the most lethal parts of any AFL team's attack. What you want to do, stand side on. Left foot forward for a right hander, right foot forward for a left hander. You want to curl the ball in your left hand for your right hander. What you want to do, punch through. You want to catch the fist 
that's what they call it. It's where you, when you punch it, your fist stops there. Don't follow through, otherwise it won't work. For a left hand one, cup it in your right hand. Left hand ready, punch through. Try to catch that fist, that way you can get better distance on it. Marking is one of the most important parts to maintaining possession in AFL football. To be able to consistently pull these offs increases the chance to giving off a handball or giving off a kick. The main points of marking is to, number one, keep your eyes on the ball at all times. Number two, you've got to line yourself up with the ball as it comes in. If you want to come towards the ball, don't wait for it, otherwise it gives those pesky defenders a chance to spoil. Always take the ball in two hands. Don't just try to show off and take a one-handed mark. But it, she's had a bit of polish on it, that kick set Nick Rewald up again. Kicks into the pocket, Brown, oh, that's a ripper. So Good chest pay. mark is one of the safest marks to take. It gives you a chance to maintain possession of the ball. First of all, you want to hold your elbows out like this. Palms up. Ball should sit when it comes in on your elbows. You want to tuck in your body, bring it close to your chest. That way the ball will not pop out when you mark it. The goods lending the lead. And he's marked at about 48 out. He's got to stay there, they'll like, swap it over. Sandling's too big. For off a quick handball if you've got a teammate in a better position. The hand mark is what AFL players use. It, it is used to give quick possession away, whether it be a kick or a handball. You need strong hands to make sure the ball doesn't come out. With the hand mark, you need to have your body lined up with the ball. You want to Arms out, extended, fingers outstretched, thumbs are going to sit behind the ball. It should look like a W shape. When the ball comes in, close in, hold the ball tightly so it doesn't slip out. The thumbs are behind to keep the ball from hitting you in the head. There he goes, long, oh, what a magnificent mark that was. Oh, big flyer mark by Osborne. That's better than any stuff. Mark is one of the hardest marks to take in AFL football. It requires courage to run into a pack, blindsided, and take the mark. What you want to do is exactly like the hand mark. Arms out stretch in the W shape. This time, you want to try to mark the ball above your head. Try to keep it in front of your body, that way the defenders can't have a chance to spoil. Sometimes, if you take it over a pack, they call it a specky, which is one of the best things to watch in AFL football. Picking up the ball is one of the most straightforward skills that you can do in AFL football. You want to stand side on with the ball. You want, to, you want to be jogging or running. When you come in, you want to bend down, pick up the ball with two hands and take off. Some players are skilled enough to pick up the ball with one hand. This way their momentum of running still goes on. That way when two hands, you slow down to pick, bend down both arms to pick up the ball. This way you take up too much time. Picking up a moving ball is one of the hardest skills to do because under pressure you can, the ball can slip out of your fingers, especially on a wet day. What you want to do is bend down the same way as a stationary ball. You want to get your body behind the ball 
and scoop it up and run on to give away a possession or get away from opponent following you. Tackling is one of the few ways of gaining possession of the football. Tackling takes commitment, determination and precision to be able to take down an opponent without giving away a free kick. What you want to do is approach the player by the side. This avoids giving away a free kick for landing in their back when you tackle them. Use your shoulder and head to lock them in place. Grab the player's arms around the elbows and lock them in tight. Try to grab the ball and hold it against the player. This way you can earn a free kick for holding the ball since it's difficult for them to give away a possession. Lastly, you want to use your body weight to bring down an opponent. Turn them this way you will give, avoid giving away a free kick for in the back. Spoiling is the other way of gaining possession of a ball used by a defender. When an opponent is in a bad position to mark, what you want to do is approach the opponent by the side. Keep your eyes on the ball. Punch the ball with an outstretched arm and with a clenched fist. Try to avoid hitting their arms, this giving away a free kick. Try to avoid going too hard into their back and try to keep your hands out of their back. You want to time your jump like taking a mark yourself but instead use your fist and punch the ball away.